Hey, what's going on, everybody? Your boy, JC. Everyday thoughts is in the building. Everybody gathering around. Should be a good one today. Today's topic is don't date a man who disrespects you publicly or privately. Basically, what this means is that uh, don't date a man who publicly or disrespects you. You know, meaning, you know, you're really loud, really aggressive out when you're out with your family, your friends. Uh, sometimes men go to the this string go to your job and act a fool. So you don't want to date a man who publicly or even privately disrespects you, you know. Or even when you guys are out, uh, out and about, maybe going on a date, he's out there screaming at the waiter, screaming at people around you, arguing about stuff. Or even when y'all have kids, or if y'all do have kids, he's constantly arguing around them, you know. It doesn't seem, that doesn't set a good example for the kids if he's out there arguing, fussing with you, you know. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with you guys uh, having an argument. It's, you know, it's, it's going to happen, but you don't need to be in a big setting or you don't need to be to the point where you guys are so loud that the neighbors hear you, you know. And also, uh, privately, you know, you're talking about text messages, you know. You can't see each other's phone. Everything got to be hidden. Uh, you got to be worried about who he's talking to, who he's texting, who he's at work, etc. Like, you don't want all that, you know. You should be clear with each other, be able to see each other's phones or see go on each other's Facebook without no kind of uh, remorse or anything. So, you got to be cautious of, you know, way, a way that a man speaks to you, you know. A man that will speak, with you, speak to you is going to be going to uh, uplift you, going to speak life to you, and you're going to make sure you're doing all right. You know, even on bad terms, you know, you're still going to make sure you're doing all right, you know, or you're going to apologize early. Like, you know what? Yeah, we got into it. I apologize. And let me take you out to dinner. Let me take you out for a good movie or such, you know. That's a, that's, a, that's a sign of a good man. You know, he may argue with you. Y'all may, may go at it, but it's always a common meet, a common ground that y'all get to that y'all not going over the edge to, you know. Because like I said, you know, being married, it's not, it's not easy, but... At the same time, though, we make it work and make sure that we have a level of understanding towards one another. So, yeah, you know. But, yeah, that's all I want to say today. You know, don't date a man who disrespects you publicly or privately, you know. You don't, want to, you, don't want, you don't want to deal with all that, you know. And if you're a man doing that, I mean, just stop it now. Because, like I said, she deserves better, you know. Uh, you just got to... Be men, you know. Cause like I said, you gonna have you have a daughter, you want someone to be yelling, screaming at her, or your mother, etc. So, just put the put, put the shoe on the other foot and ask yourself: Do you want someone, or your family member, to be disrespected by a man yelling, arguing, or she, your, your daughter got to worry about oh who's he texting, or you know you don't want to deal with that. So why would you do that to another person? So that's all I'm got to say. Until next time, I'm out. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to this video. I'm out. Everyday thoughts.